Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about seven tips and tricks to help the environment. Enjoy the video. These are paper bags and they're recyclable and they 50, they come, they're, they come with these little like cute little stickers. And um, so these can hold sandwiches, little snacks, and they just go right into the recycling bin and it doesn't have to decompose for hundreds of years with the plastic. Um, bags. So yeah, this is a great alternative that you can find at the store. Another switch you can make is buying candles that are made from essential oils. This one is eucalyptus and spearmint and they smell delicious and they're also not toxic so you're not breathing in all the toxic chemicals that normal um, candles have. So get the natural oils ones. If you're looking for shopping bags to go shopping with your friends or just in general, this is actually made out of old tarp tents. And I love this company, Ye Mana. And it's a great bag. Here, I can show you inside of it. it. Has all different compartments and stuff. And I love it. And it's so cozy just on your shoulder. It has this little strap here. And it's great to go out with friends. It's cute and it doesn't, um, have harmful impacts on the environment. It's not made from animals. It's not made from like leather or other materials that aren't that great. It's all recyclable materials and it can decompose. So, yeah. If you need decoration for your room or, or if you want to give your friends a present, um, you take a rock from your outside or like your house, wherever you want and you can make these little worry stones. So basically this one says be kind and it's super cute. It's got all these like cute little dots on it with a heart and it's a really fun art project and it's really like a handmade gift, it's super cute. This one says appreciate the little things. So super cute and super easy to make and it doesn't harm the environment. So if you're looking for plants to grow in your house, this is an ivy plant and it basically just needs indirect sunlight you just need to keep the soil damp and the room temperature between like 65 and 85 degrees. So just room temperature. And basically why this is great is because it removes all like the toxins from the air and stuff and keeps your air fresh. So Ivy is a really great plant to grow and I really recommend it. You can get it at a local Trader Joe's or basically anywhere. They're really easy to take care of. You really only need to water them when their soil is like getting drier. But for the most part, like, look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. So yeah, it's a perfect plant for your room. And it kind of just like, yeah, it just sits there. It's nice to check in and grow. And it's a great gift for friends too, for holidays. Another one of my favorites, succulents. They're super cute. You can put them in a ceramic um, vase or really any vase that you have. Just make sure there's a drainage hole at the bottom so that they don't get super soggy because um, then they'll die if they, they get too wet. So basically, what I would say about these, I have so many all around my room. You can put them in your room, you can put them in their house. It, they're super easy to take care of. You only have to water them like once a month when they're dry, dry, like super dry. Like the, it should be like sand. So yeah, I really recommend succulents and they're super cute. If you're looking for a book to gift your friends about how to live more eco-friendly and be more conscious of the environment around you, I really suggest this book by Jen Chillingsworth. It's called Live Green and 52 Steps for a More Sustainable Life. And it's wonderful. They have cute little pictures. You can see like what to do during Christmas time, like all different kinds of sections, your body care, um, cleaning out your closet, tips to avoid food waste, all great stuff. So I really recommend this book. See, it's so cute. We have greenhouse and garden, really recommend.